Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, well, you can see for yourself. I got a freaking Arcanine, and I can ride it! Uh, you know, when I found out that Growlithe was not an Eevee version, I was really disappointed because I really wanted to train a Growlithe, but I also didn't want to be playing Pikachu version. This? This makes up for it. Uh, okay, so we need to teach. We don't have a name for you. Any suggestions for an Arcanine name? In any case, we need to teach you some moves. I looked up Arcanine's move set, and it actually does not learn extreme speed in this game at all. That's weird. I, I guess because it didn't learn extreme speed in Generation One. Kind of dumb. Because Scald wasn't in Generation 1. Any king, or anyway, let's see what we can teach you here. You can learn Headbutt. And you can learn Dig. Well, of course we're going to teach you Dig. You're a dog. Maddie is suggesting Phoenix. Roar, roar, roar. How often am I even going to use Roar? The target is scared off and a different Pokemon is dragged out. Considering how many trainers only have one Pokemon, this is largely useless. Especially since it's not even useful for random encounters in this game. So that's an easy swap. Tell you what, for a Pokemon like this, it's definitely good, a good thing that TMs are reusable. Because otherwise, I'd be trying to save them all just for Arcanine. Now for this... I don't know that you necessarily need to know Leer. You're going to be a pretty strong Pokemon, all things considered. So, yeah, I'll get rid of Lear. And I'm sure you'll have opportunities to learn other moves later on. Alright, I haven't explored every house here, so I guarantee we're not writing Arcanine in here. No, I didn't think so. I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner Ducks here are going to go catch a Spearow soon. Okay, that is clever. So in the original red and blue, you would catch a Spearow, bring it to this guy to trade for a Farfetch'd that happens to be named Ducks. Nice animation there. Do that again. I wonder where Farfetch are located in other game or uh, uh, in general. Out of curiosity, does seeing a Farfetch here added to my sight list? That would be a nice touch if it did. But no, I'm gonna say you have to see it in battle in order to be counted as a Pokemon you have seen. That said, I definitely like that you do in fact see a lot of bunch of Pokemon just all over the place like this. It definitely helps the world feel a little bit more alive. That you're not just the only trainer wandering around with a Pokemon at their side. Also, the fact that your Arcanine is put into your Pokeball whenever you're like at a tight space, like this is apparently somehow. It's going to be a little annoying whenever it's this sensitive, but at the same time, it's also going to be nice for locations like where I caught all those Meowths. Because otherwise, 
if tight spaces were an issue, well, that would be an issue. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the north. Really, what's it say? Dear Pippi, I hope I can go see you soon. I've heard that Saffron City is having lots of trouble with Team Rocket. Vermilion City seems safer now, and it always will be. I like that Pidgey coos like a pigeon. Also, neither and female, I approve of this choice. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SS Anne someday. I could make new friends all over the world. You already have a great friend in Nidoran. I'll probably ask around for the name of the Arcanine, maybe. No, no. Nah, maybe not. Actually, no. Let's go with Phoenix. Because I don't know necessarily know any girls who would want to be an Arcanine. So we'll go with that. Gonna be hooked on Phoenix. This thing here isn't for resting your feet on, you know. It's for tying up your boat. At no point in this adventure are we actually going to see a boat tied to these things. I guarantee it. Vermilion Port. Okay, I could go out this way to fight some trainers, get some more Pokemon, but I want to go to the SSN. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion Port just once a year. Welcome to the SSN, but not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young lady? Yep, that'll do. We're gonna board the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us aboard the SSN today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Alright, cool. Welcome to the SSN. Thank you, bye. Oh! That's a big boat. Oh, I didn't look. Hold on a sec. Can we see the... Can we see the truck from out here? I do notice that there is a sur spot you can get off and surf around. I bet you the truck is somewhere out here. There's a platform over there. That's probably where it is. I guarantee you there is no running Arcanine in here. I want to pull out a different Pokemon in that case. I so did not expect to find Trace right here. Oh, there you are, Erica. Thanks again for the ticket. And Blue is here. Oh, I so be hope that he talks in a fake French accent. The ship is huge and is full of trainers. There we go. Bonjour. If it isn't Erica and Trace. Didn't think I'd be seeing the two of you here. Hey, Blue. Oh, you've met. Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. I got invited to the, the exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with this scene. I got plenty of party favors too. Here, I can even share one with you. 
A Shalur Sable? Some sort of medicine. More importantly, though, you want to know what I overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? I battled them before. Seriously? You must be fearless or something, kid. Anyway, the point is this. Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after. Are we going to be seeing you at Sylphco? And you two better stay out of their path. Okay, I got things to look at. Medicine pocket, what is this thing? Shalor Sable. The Callus region's famous shortbread. It can be used to heal all the status conditions of a single Pokemon. Oh, it's like that rock stuff. Oh, and the outfit. I gotta check out the outfit. Sailor cap. Yeah, I was hoping these caps would be more than just recolors. And the bag. I'm getting the feeling Link is probably not going to have such an outfit, but it's worth checking. Oh, it... He does. Awesome. Well, in that case, here you go. And here you go. Link is excited by the beautiful SSN. You don't even have to press a button in order to pet, it's kind of automatic. Team Rocket, huh? Erica, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me. Honestly, I'd love the opportunity to team up with you. Okay, we got Pokemon up here. Can I look at them? Kinda, sorta. I have to look from an odd angle. So we got Shelter over there. And... Not sure what that is. Can I get a better look? Some sort of Pokemon around a glowy spot, I guess? And what have we got over here? Maybe there'll be another spot we can see these pictures and get a better look at them. Well, there's that sunset we were told about earlier. And... Dugong. Okay, since we can't have Arcanine out here, let's go ahead and bring out somebody else. I'm gonna bring out Belladonna because I think it'll be funny wandering around a ship with a snake following me. Wait. Can I not? Are you too big? Can I bring out any Pokemon? Okay. Belladonna's too big. So, I guess Pikachu's back out then. Unless I want to bring somebody else. Uh, nah. I'll, I'll go ahead and let Julia wander around with me. The passengers are restless after being out to sea so long. You might get challenged to battle by some of the really bored ones. I'm counting on it. 
Also, the doors are on the other side of the hallway this time. I guess this way you can easily see that they're here. So there's some sort of picture off over here. Just a house of some sort, looks like. You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? Okay. This is a new addition. They actually have a spot that can heal you on the ship. Good, that means I won't have to travel all the way to back to the Pokemon Center. I'm glad everyone is looking refreshed and chipper now. Oh, I'm sorry for fussing over you. It's just because you look like my little sister. No, no, uh, fuss over me all you want. I'll be back. I hope we got, that I get to battle Trace before we leave this place. You insolent pup! How dare you barge in! I should put Phoenix in the lead. You know what? Let's bring out Phoenix right now. Tempting as I am to let Princess continue. This is cool. Alright, let's see here. Let's use the obvious attack. You know, the non-animation of sinking into the ground really makes me think of, like, that one meme with Homer sinking into the bush. If you've ever seen that. And a big old bite. Okay, why does it say you use the full restore when your opponent uses it? Is that a glitch? I, I, I like how... Phoenix is so big, you can barely see me behind her. Level up for Hudson. Humph! You rude child! You have no sense of courtesy! I wish me left alone. Get out. Okie doke. Let's see, who else could we put in front? You know what? Let's put Maddie in front. You get the next fight. Draw me like one of your French women. Okay, I just noticed a hiccup on my BC. Am I still here before I continue? I don't want to be losing any stream. Havas is like, five programs are slowing your PC. Yeah, and every time you turn, tell me that, it just so happens to be right after a hiccup. I blame Avast. Avast is like making a hiccup on purpose. But I need some sort of virus protection. Staying in bed doing nothing during my much-awaited cruise trip. Ah, what a luxury. I wish I could lay on the bed. Bit weird to not be seeing a wall over here. I mean, I guess I, I get why there isn't. It's so that there isn't a wall blocking my view as I come around. But it's still kind of weird.
Hello there, Machoke. My partner Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to even shove big rocks out of the way as if they were nothing. Yeah, those are definitely human feet. Okay, you are going to be battling me. You know what they say about sailors? We're all itching for a fight after ages at sea. Oh, finally! I've been wondering for ages to find out what it is they say about sailors. Because in, like, Generation 1, you know what they say about sailors and fighting? No. But now I do. Thank you for finally telling me. I was not expecting Slowpoke. You know what, though? This is a good Pokemon for you, Maddie. Bite the heck of that pink otter. I think that's what Slowpoke are. Otters? Like psychic otters that happen to be pink? Pretty sure. A very large otter. Right. Good battle, mate. Ha <laughs> ha Want to be a sailor mate? That is not why I'm dressed as one. I just like the outfit. It's kind of cute. You know, these are pretty nice rooms. Get a couple of beds, a TV. Also the window view. If there's one nice thing to come from this new camera angle, it's the fact that we get a window view. You're absolutely going to be fighting me. I like feisty kids like you. Kinda think of it, I don't remember an electrician being on this boat before. El engineer, whatever. Although there was a trainer with... a Magnemite. But I'm fairly certain he was not an, ele an electrician. You know, I'm not entirely sure that burying holes in the ship is a good thing. Whoa, nice. Out of curiosity, are steel type Pokemon weak against ground attacks? And you want to learn Crunch? So Crunch is a power of 80 compared to 60. I mean, Crunch doesn't have flinch chance, it's actually a chance to lower defense. But that's still pretty good. And also, Maddie says that he'll take Crunch, so he's taking Crunch. If we want Flinch Chance, we could always reteach Headbutt. Oh, you got two of them? You know, it's almost a shame that this game doesn't let you know which attacks are super effective, like it does in uh, Sun and Moon. Almost a shame, but ultimately... Not a big deal. I mean, people can argue that it's actually better that it doesn't tell you. You know what? We learned it. Let's try it out. That does look painful. Alright. 
We'll finish things off with Dig. You know, now that we can actually see you digging under the ground, we don't necessarily need to be told that you're digging underground. No, wait, I take that back. It's still possible to turn off animations completely. Therefore, we would be told you turned a uh, dig underground when we don't actually see it. So it can be necessary to tell us. You're all right, kid. You're gonna grow up into an amazing adult. I don't plan on to on it. I mean, amazing, yes, but adult, no. I don't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. Okay, you're a trainer as well. How about Hudson? No, you're a sealer. This would be a fight for Julia. Even sailors have Pokemon. I would be surprised if they didn't. Okay, that is definitely not a tentacle. Oh, but you have two Pokemon. Maybe your next Pokemon will be tentacle. Either way, interesting that we've had two trainers in a row that have been having multiple Pokemon. Maybe as the game goes on, this will become more commonplace. Maybe we'll fight trainers with three Pokemon. That hurt. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Thank you, speed advantage. Some of these updated sounds sound pretty good compared to others. Updated Pokemon cries, I mean. Okay, uh... Now, let me use a potion. Because I want to find out how strong that Poliwag is. Is it going to use Water Gun or Bubble? You're going to use Pound. Well, oh, a critical hit and paralysis didn't take effect, though. That's OK. You still got this. OK, just real quick, I want to point out how the patterns on the wall look like skulls. I know it's the inverse of that, but I cannot unsee the skulls. You want to learn light screen? Okay. They make Pokemon OP in this game, I tell you what. Of course, the flip side is that opponents are going to be equally OP. So it balances out. So Light Screen. A wondrous wall of light is put up to reduce damage from special attacks for 5 turns. And it stays in effect even if you switch Pokemon. That'll be really useful. Definitely would have been useful against that Psyduck. 
Okay, you're not bad. We caught all our Pokemon while we were out at sea. Okay, end of the thing. Are there any hidden items? Nope. I'm pretty sure this is going to have a trainer. Yep. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. That is a lot more dialogue than you had originally. Originally, it was just that last line. That is... <laughs> That, that is, um, that is a pose. That is definitely a pose. Okay. I should have healed before the fight. I don't know what this thing is capable of. I'm not taking chances. Horn attack. You know what? You don't need to be in this fight. Let's bring in... Well, I was going to bring in Belladonna before. Let's do that now. And after this fight, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring in Bubba onto my team. Okay, let's see how well this is going to work. This, you're faster. And you're confused. I don't feel like dealing with all that, no. I know I have an item that could potentially heal it, but you know what? I'm kind of done with this. I'm bringing in Hudson. Strong against any potential water attacks, and got some good defense. Got some slightly less good defense. And that Goldine is still faster. Can we have a chance at causing burn? No, but that was still good damage considering. Do that again. Oh, right. You have another Pokemon. Well, more of the same. That is rude. Thankfully, did not miss. Oh, that actually caused it slightly less damage. Damage variant was not on my side, and there's more smokescreen, and hopefully there's an accurate bubble. Okay, good. This fight's over, then. Aww. I let that one get away. I was thinking I might be able to hook you as a fishing buddy, too. I mean, I would have liked to, but they didn't give me one. 
A rod. They didn't give me a rod. Okay, time to switch things up on my team. So I want Bubba on my team. Is there anybody on my team with a higher CP than 266? Actually, no. Nobody's caught up with Bubba yet. Well, in that case, I guess never mind. Well, what about what about Link here? Is there anybody on my current team that has a CP higher than 245? I mean, kind of, sorta. 246. Well, in that case, it's a slight difference, but Link has an electric attack. I want to take advantage of it. Oops. And we're going to go ahead and make a trip back to that healer. Gonna want to make sure we do everything we can on this ship. Because I'm pretty sure the ship is going to sail away forever after we're done here. Just like it does in the original games. Waitress! Yes, you, waitress. I'm not even dressed as a waitress. Wait. What are the waitresses on the ship dressed like? Are, th are there any? I need a slice of cake. The finest custard cake you have. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get some, but only for myself. Hi! Okay. I love how the Wigglytuff is saying pew, pew, pew. A world cruise is so elegant and nice. I always travel with Wigglytuff. I never leave home without it. I imagine it would actually be a very cuddly, cuddly Pokemon. What with it being a balloon Pokemon? You all look like trainers. You are all trainers. Or at least this one is. Betting the kid is. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. You know, this is going to be a missed opportunity. They could have totally had a Pokemon from another region. But instead it's a Pidgey. Well, goodness is, weak against lightning. Well, this battle seems appropriate. Let's see here. I'm gonna go with Sizzly Slide. That is a physical attack. One shot. Oh no. Got burned though. And now you're paralyzed. Little tit for tat there. Come on, Link! Ah, 
Oh no! I went around the world for these! You hurt my poor Pokémon! I demand you heal that amount of Pokémon Center. I'll just go a couple of rooms down. Uh, how you feeling, Link? Link looks tired. You know what? I'm gonna take my own advice. No need to use a healing item when we're just a couple doors down from a full heal. Alright, let's finish off this room. Uh... This room. I love Pokemon, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. I also love being one. Looking forward to the next time I can do that. Now I wonder if I can convince Bill to let me into that machine of his. Mm, this is not necessarily a good matchup. Let's see, who's strong against... Let's go with Belladonna. Give you another chance. Oh, Fury swipes, huh? Yeah, that's not gonna do you too much good. I'm gonna go straight for Acid in this case. Nice to know that attack is sped up. You know what? Maybe go for this after all. There's definitely some noticeable difference in strength between some of these Pokemon. Okay, glad to have used Rap. Some of these Pokemon get one shot, some of them take several hits. Wow, you're great. Listen, listen! Let me be your friend, okay? Then we can trade Pokemon and do stuff. I'm good. Haha, -ha. we're cruising around the world, my children and I. I'm taking your thing. Oh, how appropriate. Okay, last door right here. Shh, I'm an agent for the International Police. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Well, there's no reason to go international. They're only in Kanto right now. Bonjour! I am Le Witter on this ship. I'll be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong, silent type. Trebian! I want some. Give me some. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. You have to give me room here. It would help if you weren't standing in place and spinning in place and doing everything except being busy.
Let's see if one of these trash cans still has a great ball. Yep. Oh wait, no, it's a tiny mushroom. Snivel, sniff. I only get to peel onions, Snivel. Well, at least I have some sort of animation. Have you heard about Snorlax? He's a real glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can. Handy dun hum. I peel spuds every day. Hum hum. Ahem. Indeed, I am Le Chef. The main course today is... Le Cantonian Flavor of Pewter Crunchies. That is not very gourmet. The guess mew will mutiny, I fear. Yeah, because it's not gourmet. You there, ma petite. We're busy here. Out of the way. Shoo, shoo. Hey, which region was it that everybody spoke French? Was it Kalos? Have you ever wondered about these silver domes we put on top of the food? They're called... Cloches? Clochets? They keep hot dishes from cooling. How do you pronounce that? Okay, before going for the stairs, I'm gonna heal again. I gotta find this out. Cloche. Oh, I need to switch over to my PC audio so I can actually hear it myself. Cloche. 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 So they're cloche cloches then. Just FYI, whenever I'm playing games on my second monitor, that means all I'm hearing is games on my second monitor because it overrides my PC audio. Because my PC audio also goes to the second monitor. Miss Ship. She's a luxury liner that Pokemon trainers the world over love to get a ride on. Every time we pull into port, we have a fancy party and invite all the best trainers to attend. I want to go on the deck. Oh, this is a good spot where we can get a good look at these. Oh, those are Horsey and Cedra. Our captain is a sword master. He's awesome at using chop down. They say he'll teach his move to anyone who shows potential. Potential, huh? Is that potential going to be rubbing his back? Or am I actually going to have to fight him? It would be cool if I actually fought him. Link seems very excited. It seems like Link wants to see what's up ahead on the ship. Oh, we gotta try to get there first. Hey, matey! Let's do a little jig. And by jig, we mean battle. Alright, Link, this is our quest to make our way to the f bow of the ship.
Eventually, a Link is going to be not so overpowered. Impressive! You took the wind right out of my sails. Ah, a sailor joke. Clever. How many kinds of Pokemon do you think there are in this big world? Well, so far, over 800. It's kind of ridiculous. The party is winding down. It's about time for the ship to set sail. Not today. We're almost done here. But we gotta get up front first. Ahoy there! Do you not get seasick on ships? Actually, no. But I've never been on a ship that has an inside. And one shot. Uh, eventually. No! Apparently not. I hadn't noticed this before. I mean, you can't see it now, but... The Pokeballs in the upper right showing the opponent's Pokemon, it actually shows their status conditions. And not just fainted. Watch, let's see if it changes color for burning it. Yep. I mean, it's the same color as Paralysis. Ooh, we're gonna want to take care of that real quick. Bouncy bubble. Well, that's the most damage we've seen Link take so far. You know, I feel kind of sorry for my chops. They lose their tail if, they're e if they evolve. I wonder if there's like a parallel to humankind there. Link wants to learn bite. I forget, what do you have right now? Sand attack? Nah. I want you to have one status move on hand. I was just careless. My pa told me there's a hundred kinds of Pokemon, but I think there are more. Even in Generation 1, there were more. Phew, scrubbing decks is hard work. Ugh, I don't feel so good. I came out for some air because I got seasick. Out of curiosity, is there enough room out here in order to ride on... Hold that thought. Nope, that just ain't allowed on this ship. Alright, let's get that view. I definitely like all these little Easter eggs in this game. Oh, this is an awesome shot. If only we were actually sailing. 
He gazes over the wide open sea together with Link. Link seems really happy. And so am I. Well, that is a high note for us to be ending this stream on. If you enjoyed today's stream, feel free to give me a follow. I stream this game every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. With that said, there's nobody to raid, so I will simply say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.